Hello children. In this video, we will learn about the area of square and rectangle. Uncle and Golu want to change the floor tiles of their houses. Both have come to buy tiles in the market. Both Uncle and Golu like the tiles of this design. Both bought the tiles for their respective homes. After reaching home, Uncle started laying down the tiles. Each tile is square in shape and its edges are 1 meter long. Uncle first started laying tiles along the length of the floor of his room. Then Uncle saw that there were a total of 6 tiles in the length of his floor. Oh! The length of my floor is equal to 6 tiles with 1 meter long edges. That means my rectangle shaped floor is 6 meters long, thought uncle. Then uncle started laying the tiles along the width of his rectangle shaped floor. Uncle laid a total of 4 tiles along the width of his floor. There are a total of 4 1 meter long tiles in the width of my floor. That means my rectangle shaped floor has a width of 4 meters. Hmm, but how do I find out how many tiles it will take to completely cover my floor? I have 6 square shaped tiles in the length of my floor. That means 6 such horizontal rows will be made. And there are 4 square shaped tiles in the width of the floor. That means there will be 4 tiles in each horizontal row. Now it's become very easy. All I need to do is multiply the number of rows by the number of tiles in each row and I will know the total number of tiles needed to cover the floor. In other words, I have to multiply the length of the floor of this rectangle shaped floor with its width. 6 times 4 is 24. 24 tiles will be required to cover the rectangle shaped floor and the fun part is that covering this rectangle shape completely will be equal to its area. This means the area of this rectangle shaped floor is 24 square meters. Uncle finished laying the tiles on his floor. Come. Let's see what Golu is doing. Golu's floor is square shaped. So the length and width of his floor are exactly equal. He has laid four one meter long tiles along the edge of his floor. This means the edge of his square shaped floor is four meters long. In order to find the number of tiles required to cover Golu's square shaped floor, he only has to multiply the lengths of any two edges of his floor. In this way, Golu needs 4 times 4 or 16 tiles. In other words, Golu's square shaped floor has an area of 16 square meters. Golu too covered his floor with those beautiful tiles. See how beautiful Uncle and Golu's floors look. Children, in this video we learned about the area of square and rectangle. In the next video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples.